Hi YouTubers, I hope you're having a great day. In this uh, second Blues Lick video, I present a quick tutorial on how to play another essential minor pentatonic Blues Lick. I'll also show you three tasty variations on this guitar lick that you can use in your blues phrasing. So um, get your guitar and uh, let's get started. <laughs> The basic lick is a two-part lick in a typical call and response pattern. The key is A minor, but you can easily transpose this lick in other keys, as I showed you in my previous video. The lick is played, for the most part, in the second position of the A minor pentatonic scale that you can see here. The first part of the lick starts with a slide to the 9th fret on the G string. With a downstroke, slide from the 7th fret to the 9th fret with your middle finger. Next, play the 8th fret on the B string with your index finger, that's an upstroke, then the 10th fret with your ring finger, downstroke, and then the 8th fret on the high E string with your index finger again, upstroke. So try to use alternate picking, meaning play every other note with a downstroke or an upstroke. And these four notes together form a classic blues pickup that you can play at the beginning of a song or a solo. You might even recognize this type of pickup from listening to blues. Next, pick the 10th fret on the high E string with a downstroke and quickly slide with your ring finger to the 12th fret on that same string. Play that high E as a longer note that I personally like to play with some Vibrato, not too much, but a little bit to add style. The second part of the lick is almost identical to the first part, except for that last note. So the four note pickup is the same, but after that pickup, move back to the 10th fret on the B string. Play this note with your ring finger, and this note is the A, the song is in A minor, so the melody lands back home. So when I play these two parts after one another, you can hear the call and response pattern, just like a question and an answer. Now this concept is very commonly used in blues music. For example, you can hear it in B.B. King's playing. B.B. King had a very vocal way of phrasing his solos, very similar to someone who talks with changes in intonation and a lot of pauses to digest what you just heard. Listen for example to his song Sweet Little Angel. It's like he's telling a story with his guitar, it's beautiful. Alright, time to show you my three variations for this lick. In this first variation, we're adding a few bends to the lick, and this is actually one of my favorite things to do. That first slide is the same, but then play a tiny bend, a quarter tone bend on the 8th fret of the B string to nudge the flat 7, that's the G here, a little bit up towards the A. That's the note on the 10th fret. Apply the same bending technique on the 8th fret of the high E string. And then bend that 10th fret on the high E string a full tone up. Bend this string with your ring finger, but try to support the bend with your first and second fingers to add strength and control. You can use the same picking pattern as the basic lick where we did alternate picking. But to be honest, I noticed that when playing licks with bends in slower songs, I often subconsciously switch to playing all downstrokes, and to me that feels and sounds somewhat better. So you can try both and see what works for you. That's part one of the lick, that's our question, and now the answer. 
And you can slow down on these last two notes if you want, so you can delay the timing of that A note. So this first variation on the lick is very similar to the basic version. I didn't change any of the notes, I changed the way I play the notes by adding these small quarter tone bends or by replacing a slide with a bend and that makes it bluesier. In this second variation, I added a few blue notes to the lick. Now the blue note isn't part of the pentatonic scale, it's a flat 5, and in A minor the blue note is E flat. And you have to admit it sounds interesting. Oh, and as a side note, when you add the flat 5 to a minor pentatonic scale like I did on the diagram, you get a six note scale, that's the minor blues scale. Okay, play the first three notes from the pickup from the basic lick. But then instead of moving to the eighth fret on that high E string, we're replacing that note with a triplet pattern. So you slide with your ring finger from the 10th fret on that string to the 11th fret. That's the blue note right there. Then slide back to the 10th fret and then do a pull off to the eighth fret where your index finger is. Notice you only have to pick the first note of this pattern. The rest of the pattern is played with slides and a pull-off, so without picking. And after the pattern you can end the first part of the variation, just like the basic lick. Slide from the 10th fret to the 12th fret and land on that high E. The second part of this variation will emphasize the blue note even more by targeting it after we play only two notes of the pickup. Play those two notes of the pickup twice as fast as we did in the basic lick. So jump to the 11th fret on the high E string and hit the blue note with your ring finger. This creates a lot of tension. And to release this tension, I move back to the 10th fret with my middle finger, the 8th fret with my index finger, and then I land back on the root. And that's the A on the 10th fret of the B string. So the blue note is a very interesting note to use in your guitar playing, but it's not a note to rest on for a very long time as it creates tension that needs to be resolved. Also, it's not only used in blues, but you will find it uh, in the playing of countless guitar players from Eddie Van Halen to Mark Knopfler to Jimi Hendrix. Um, they all use the blue note in their own unique creative way. So in this last variation, um, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to bring that classic blues lick into another dimension by adding fuzz to it. I like fuzz, I like the sustain of a fuzz pedal. Uh, it really makes your guitar sing. Players like uh, Gary Clark Jr. come to mind. He's an amazing uh, guitar player. It's definitely worth to see him live. And the way he lets his guitar sing with his... Uh, uh, I think it's an octofuzz pedal, it's, um, it's impressive. Okay, so the lick, the only difference in the pickup this time is that I double the first note. This is done a lot in blues. I prefer playing it with two downstrokes to add uh, as much energy as possible. But you can definitely play it with alternate picking too. Oh, and in this style of blues I pick closer to the bridge of the guitar to add more bite.
I play the same bend as in variation one, but I try to bend it really slow for maximum feeling. <laughs> I drag the lick behind the beat to create even more tension. In the second part of the lick I double the first note again. And after my 8 to the 10th fret move on the B string, I change positions and I do a pre-bend on the 13th fret of the B string. Pre-bend means that without picking the note, I bend the string a full tone with my ring finger supported by my other fingers. And then I very slowly release the bend back to the C on the 13th fret before ending this variation with the A on the 10th fret played with a white vibrato. So for those of you interested, there's a detailed PDF available with all the tabs from the video, so you can print it out for further study. Uh, you can find it over at my website, guitarinspiration.com. That's guitar-inspiration.com. In this PDF, you will find not only all the tabs and notation, but also all the tips written out, uh, extra guidance, uh, background information that's not in the video, and some details about the bonus lick. There's also a link in the description. So if you're interested, go check it out. Thank you for watching my video and for taking the time to learn these licks with me. I really like teaching this stuff. I'm crazy about blues, about guitars, about music in general. So I'm always on the lookout for new things to learn and to share with others. So um, consider subscribing. Uh, if you liked my tutorial, I'll be posting more videos like this in the future. See you next time. Bye bye.